A once convicted killer just walked out of prison after almost three decades. Frank Gable was convicted of the 1989 stabbing death of Oregon State Prison Chief Michael Frankie. Gable was sentenced to life but was released a few hours ago. Reporter Elise Haas joins us now to explain why. Elise? Well, Ken, a federal judge ruled that Frank Gable did not get a fair trial and he should either be released or retried. So after all of these years behind bars, he walked out of prison today. Frank Gable is returning to a world he hasn't seen in nearly three decades. Friday morning, he walked out of a prison in Kansas. His wife, Rainy Storm, was there to greet him. Now, he'll begin his life again, trying to adjust to a society he hasn't been a part of because he's been in prison since he was convicted of murder in 1991. Gable was convicted in the 1989 stabbing death of Michael Frankie, but says he's maintained his innocence from day one. We don't really want to talk about the case, and I'm just glad to be out. You know, I'm thankful to the judge for exonerating me and, you know, just really looking at the case finally and, you know, seeing what really went happened, you know, with the state police and the DA's office, you know. They did a lot of dirty stuff, you know, and it's just real emotional. This turn of events in his life sentence all changed when this past April, Judge John Acosta said evidence not allowed to be introduced at his original trial would have likely led to an acquittal and tossed out his conviction. Judge Acosta says an Oregon judge improperly excluded another man's confession to the crime Gable was accused of. The victim's siblings never believed Gable killed their brother. They even helped Oregon public defenders challenge the conviction to help free him. Gable's federal defense attorney released a statement saying, in part, while it took too many years, I am overjoyed an innocent man will finally have his freedom. And the state has indicated that they want to appeal the decision to release Gable from prison. But right now, the state's deadline for their briefing is mid-August, but they'll likely ask for an extension. So with all the back and forth of litigation, this case could continue to go on for a few more years. But in the meantime, Gable will remain under supervision as he gets this start again at life. Ken? Thank you, Elise.